Liverpool up to room Miguel Brittas's offside equaliser for Watford. The expression on Jurgen Klopp's face as Watford celebrations broke out all around him said it all. A testing 24 hours for Liverpool, dominated by Philippe Coutinho's email transfer request, ended with the sort of injury time equaliser that drives managers insane. Miguel Brittas, looking at least a yard offside, bundled home from a corner in the 93rd minute, denying Liverpool the victory that would have brought some much-needed respite on the back of the Coutinho saga. Looking on with a mixture of incredulity and bemusement, Klopp could have been forgiven for thinking that the world is conspiring against him as a spirited Watford side brought parody in the dying seconds. The fact that the goal should not have stood and also arrived from a corner, Liverpool's Achilles heel last season and also the source of Watford's opener, deepened the sense of frustration. Two points slipped through Liverpool's fingers in the process on an afternoon when Klopp's team missed a commanding figure in central defence much more than their absent Brazilian playmaker. What a difference someone like Virgil van Dijk, one of Liverpool's prime transfer targets, could have made in a defence that never looked comfortable throughout. We know we could do better and we have to do better, Klopp said, of the goals Liverpool conceded. Stefano Olkaka exposed those all too familiar shortcomings with Watford's first, the striker's free header from close range flashing beyond Simon Mimelot, and the defending in the lead up to the second goal, shortly after Sadio Mane had equalised with the superb solo effort, was every bit as calamitous. New season, same old Liverpool at the back rather sums it up in that respect. The good news for Klopp is that Liverpool looked menacing at the other end of the pitch once they got the rag together in the second half, scoring two goals in as many minutes to turn the game on its head. Roberto Firmino got the first of the penalty spot to hull Liverpool level after Mohamed Salah was brought down, and those two also combined for the third, with the Egyptian marking his debut for the club with a goal. Liverpool were dominant in that period and had enough chances to put the game to bed, yet their failure to take one of them, Alberto Moreno and Dijon Lovren were denied by Hirolo Gomez either side of Joel Matty heading against the bar, proved costly when Britta's plundered the equaliser at the death. Klopp, understandably, was reluctant to criticise his players too heavily, making the point that the opening day of the season was no time to look for perfection. He admitted, though, that he was disappointed with the way that Liverpool were second best to Watford physically in the first half and also the lack of direction in his team for spells. Watford deserved credit for starting so well. Okaka, in particular, caught the eye during a bright opening from Marco Silva's side. Snapping into tackles, Watford denied Liverpool the time and space to impose themselves and took the lead after only eight minutes. Jose Holbes delivered an unswinging corner from the right and the shortcomings of Liverpool's zonal marking system were there for all to see as Okaka, with Lovren caught in no man's land, drifted into the six-yard box to head home. Although Liverpool were struggling to play with any fluency, their equaliser was a beauty. Moreno, who was given his first Premier League start for ten months, swapped passes with Maine on the edge of the area before sliding a low ball into the feet of Emery Can. Maine ran in behind, adroitly stepping over the ball before accepting Can's first time layoff and curling a splendid shot into the far corner. It was a moment of brilliance that should have had a calming effect on Liverpool, yet 161 seconds later Minolet was picking the ball out of the back of the net again. Tom cleverly got away from Jordan Henderson in the inside right channel and delivered the low center that pinballed between Trent Alexander-Arnold and Matty, gifting Duke or Watford second. The pattern of the game changed after the restart as Liverpool attacked with much more conviction. Firmino dispatched his spot kick with a minimum of fuss after Salah, racing onto the Brazilian's pass, was clumsily brought down by Gomez. When Salah nudged the ball over the line moments later following a lovely piece of skill from Firmino, Liverpool were in total control, yet victory was snatched from them late on courtesy of that controversial Brittas goal. Offside, said Klopp. That's really not fun.